Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was sitting here thinking about some of the conversations I had with some of our YouTubers that call for counseling and some who leave comments. And many of you are in a quandary. You're trying to struggle to live straight, think straight, feel straight. But it seems like your flesh is your greatest enemy. And Satan, of course, takes advantage of your flesh. Well, this is what I want to read to you. This is what came to my mind as I brought it to the Lord. And I believe sometimes the answer is so simple, yet we don't do some things because it is not comfortable for our flesh. It doesn't feel good, like drinking a spoonful of castor oil. Yeah, well, listen to this. Here's your castor oil. You ready? All right. Mark, and I'm going to read this, and then we're going to follow it, of course, Pat's two cents. All right. Oh, okay. Mark chapter 9, verses 16 through 29. And you better sit there and listen to the whole thing, or I'm going to come through here and beat you up. Okay. And he asked the scribes, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I, I, I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. And he answered him and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked the father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oft times it, it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus answered unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Listen up. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore, and came over and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, and this is what I say to you. This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Pat's two cents. Some of you are trying to get over old fleshly habits, old sexual desires. You're trying to get over bad attitudes. You're trying to get over confusion, stirring confusion and strife in your family. You're trying to get over the lustful feelings you feel for that girl or that man or whatever. And some of you might even be struggling over feelings over little children. Some of you are struggling with porn. Some of you are fighting the urge to smoke because you know that that damages God's temple and you are God's temple. So I mean, all of us have struggles, okay? 
Mine is with discipline. Different people have different struggles, but some lean towards sin. Some are destructive if you don't put them in check and stop them, head them off at the pass. What well, Jesus said, some things can only come by nothing else but prayer and fasting. When was the last time you fasted? Some of you couldn't try to, you, 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 you wouldn't make it too well if you even tried to fast off of watching regular TV. So this is what I say to you. Find that snack, that food, that time that you love to eat the most. Whatever the case may be, run into the movies, play in your Netflix, whatever your thing is. Video games, fast from what you put in your body and fast from what you put in your head and spend that time praying and seeking God. Yeah, it may be difficult. There may be times when you doze off and fall asleep because you're weak. Take vitamins, drink some protein, give yourself the ability to function. It's all right to fortify yourself, but refrain, abstain, from the normal things of life so that you can clear your atmosphere you can clear out the cobwebs and the clouds and the clutter so that you can hear more clearly from God and you can have a more uh, direct connection with him and you can more easily access his supernatural power now that's my word for you fast and pray some fast from Daniel's fast I believe was from pleasant foods some of you may have a harder time fasting from desserts and snacks than you do from food whatever it is fast from it commit it to the Lord and ask him to enable you to live up to your fast Set how many days, one day, two days, three days, four days, seven days, a week, two weeks, a month, whatever. Don't be crazy. If you're a diabetic, you have to fast within your means. And, and you can't take the same amount of insulin if you're not eating the same amount. So you have to be wise when you fast if you have health conditions. But fast and pray. God, ask God. He will tell you. I remember I've been on fast where God told me just eat soups. You can you don't eat a bunch of solid foods. You can eat soups with vegetables in it, but just soups and liquids. Anyway, that is my word to you. Pursue. Go after. Fight for. Go in and possess your land while you drive out the enemy. God bless you as you gain the victory.